Yo, we love you, Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Superior it's Junior, man. I'm back at it again with another video. Today we gonna do a um a high taper with waves on top. Well, I'm gonna do it um, one and a half on top. And yeah, let's get into the video. Now before I start any cut, I always start brushing the hair down. Cause if you don't brush your hair down, then the hair ain't gonna lay right. And you don't want to mess up. So now I'm coming with my um my baby's FX boost, the green ones. Now I'm not gonna have down to one and a half, because that's what my client wanted on the head. And not gonna down to one and a half all the way around the head. Now to start my high tape, I'm gonna take my um my trimmers and do a we'll do a ball line on the back and the sides. That's how I'm gonna start my high tape. My first guideline is gonna be my home um, no guard open, and I'm gonna go about an inch. Now, as you see, you see me brush it, the hair back down so I can make sure everything laid right. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up by an inch on my first guideline, and you'll see me close my um, my clippers to get that by line. Now, now, it may not get everything out, and we'll come back here and get that with a trimmer so we ain't worried about that. Now I come on one close for my, you see one close, my third guideline, brush that down so I can create another guideline. Now I come with my half guard close to get that bottom line out that I created with my one guard close. Like I say, it may not get everything out, but I can always come back and get it out with my no guard open. As I was saying, like I'm going back in there right now and getting that, getting that line out with my no guard open. So I can just get that line all the way out and it can be blended perfectly. Now I use my one guard open so I can um, blend that top end with the bottom. Like I said, it ain't gonna be fully blended. I had to go back in there with my um, half guard open to get that line out too, as you'll see. As me using that no guard open, um, you'll see me opening and closing it sometimes too, just so I can just blend it all out and everything can be even. So, yep. Like I said, you see me going to the other side. Sometimes I had to close it, sometimes I had to open it. But I always make sure you brush down the hair while you blending, doing your blending process.
Now I come in with my savers, do that back, uh, line up in the back of the neck. I like to start from the middle. Now I go from the middle, go to the top a little bit, then I go work my way all the way back down. You can see on this side, that thing extra crispy. Extra crispy. Yes, sir. And then when I go up on the ears, I like to start from the top. Then I come back. Start from the back of the ear. Then what I make, then I come from the front of the ear to match it up. Now to start this hot tape out on the side where the temple is at, I come in with my no guard open for my own um, first guideline. Then you'll see me close it for the um get the blend it out to get that ball the bottom line out. Like I say, it's the same thing as from the back. You just really it's really the same tape. Like I say, you see me closing it right now to get that bottom line out, but you do the same. Whatever you do in the back, you don't do it in the front. So that's it. Now I'm going in my one guard closed to make that third guy line. Like I say, every time you fade, please make sure you brush the hair down so everything can be even. As you see, you'll see me brush it down after I go in it. To make sure everything brushed and even. Also, you'll see me opening it and blend that top end with that bottom while I do this fade. Sometimes I go step by step, sometimes I don't. Like I say, now I'm going down there with it closed a little bit just to blend it in a little bit more, the top end with the bottom. Now I'm going in with my half guard closed to blend that one in. Let's see, half guard closed in that one in. And you'll also see me going with my half guard open to blend it in with the top. Like I say, you'll see me moving my blade up and down as I get closer to the top. But I always make sure you brush the hair down evenly. Now for this side taper, side high taper, I'ma just speed everything up. Now to prep my hairline, I like to use a guard lower than what I used on top of his head, just so I can lay that front hairline down. And now you see I hold it, hold well, spray the hair down with some holding spray, so I can get everything, have everything nice and neat before I do it. Now when I start my um, lineup, I like to start from the middle. 
I go from the right side and I creep back on that left side when I start to do my lineups. And if you line up the hair, if your clippers are set right, you don't have to dig into the client's hair. All you gotta do is tap. Just do a little small tapping motions all through the hair. And I didn't get me doing the um the right side lined up the sidebars because it was like blurry and real dark, so I just took it out. But the, the it was extra crispy. You know what I'm saying? And then you see me doing my climb with a little enhancements. It's a little blur right now. And I'm using um Kiss Express uh, dark brown, and so I can get that still natural look effect. Now after I put my handles on, I like to use a hold the hold spray to hold the enhancements down and come back with my own clippers and line it back up, line the whole thing back up so it could be extra crispy, extra crispy. Oh yeah, you can't forget to blow dry the blow dry it down too. Blow dry that hold spray down, but yeah, so it's gonna be extra crispy. And I did here with the right at the end of the cut. So I get a little extra, extra crispy. Like I said, y'all see it now. It's crispy, so they're gonna make it a little extra, extra crispy. Well, YouTube, like I said, this is before, and you see you looking kind of raggedy, you know. Well, I ain't gonna say raggedy, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, you looking kind of bad, but that's the app. YouTube, hey, I appreciate y'all for liking my videos, subscribe to my videos. Like I say, we had 105 subscribers. Y'all keep subscribing, y'all keep liking. And you know it's love always. Oh yeah, if you like this beat, make sure you hit my boy Super J up. His um link to his beats will be in the um description. So yeah. Make sure you like make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and
get back at me. Keep watching the videos, share my videos. And it's period joint. I love you. Out.